Jake works as a novelist at Ginkgo Publishing, to be with Rooney as soon as possible each day. He counts the seconds until his work is done. Jake then rushes out of the subway station, swiftly scans for a bike, and heads home. Upon entering the house, Jake immediately approaches Rooney, smelling his paws like he's gaining strength again, despite having dog hair all over his hands. Jake doesn't mind a bit. Jake quickly gets dressed with Rooney waiting outside, ready for their daily walk together. But this time, Jake informs him that he has something important to take care of for the day, which visibly disappoints Rooney. Later, Jake arrives at a restaurant where his girlfriend has been patiently waiting. After reading a heartfelt letter to her, he pulls out a ring and proposes. Overjoyed, the girl accepts his proposal but confesses that she's actually allergic to dog saliva and has been taking medicine every time she's around Rooney. Jake finds himself in a dilemma between choosing Rooney and his girlfriend. He decides to reassure his girlfriend that he will find a new home for Rooney by giving him up for adoption to relatives. Later, Jake reaches out to his cousin Ben to discuss potential options for rehoming Rooney. However, Ben explains that all their relatives have compelling reasons that prevent them from taking in the dog. In desperation, Ben suggests to Jake that they could create a dog adoption post on Instagram to search for a suitable adopter. Shortly after, a girl from Ben's training center expresses interest in adopting Rooney. Two men visit her house, where the girl resides with her newborn baby. She desires to have a dog to form a bond with the baby. However, their initial meeting takes an unfortunate turn as continuous phone ringing disturbs the baby's sleep, leading the girl to become frustrated and ask them to leave. They then arrive at a man's house who has dreamed of having a golden retriever since childhood. As Jake marvels at the house's excellent condition and prepares to take a seat, the man takes out a lint roller to clean Jake's clothes of any dog fur. This action catches Jake off guard, and he bluntly refuses the man's offer before walking away. Understanding that many people lack experience in raising a dog, in the afternoon, they discover a family whose son is deeply saddened by the loss of his golden retriever due to illness. The father hopes bringing a new dog into their lives will help his son find joy again. Later, Jake goes upstairs to speak with the boy, who initially refuses to leave his room. However, upon hearing Jake's heartfelt confession about the dog, the boy unexpectedly opens his door. Jake excitedly shows the boy pictures of Rooney, but a disagreement arises when the boy claims Rooney as his own due to their similar appearances. Jake stands his ground but then is knocked into a coma by the boy. Ben questions why Jake turned down the family's offer, as they are close to his home and have experience raising pets. Jake explains that he fears the boy might try to mold Rooney into a replica of his deceased dog rather than appreciating Rooney's unique nature. They soon pass Jake's old house, where he and his mother once lived. Jake has put the house up for sale because he can't bring himself to enter it again since his mother's passing. Over the past few years, he has blamed himself for his mother's death, believing that his excessive work and tendency to vent frustration onto her played a role. As Jake's older brother, Ben reassures him that he will find a loving family for Rooney. The following day, Jake wakes up feeling hungover at the sound of his girlfriend's call, with Rooney beside him. His girlfriend expresses concern for his well-being and emphasizes that they should face any challenges as a team. Despite her support, Jake keeps the struggles of Rooney's adoption to himself. Later, Ben informs Jake that their uncle lives in Payu, where there's a spacious house. Moreover, their uncle already has a dog named Ray, which could help Rooney settle in comfortably. Without hesitation, the trio sets off on their journey to Payu. Fortunately, Rooney instantly likes Ray, and they quickly engage in playful interactions. Ben enters the house to meet his uncle and is taken aback by the older man's unexpected vitality. As they sit down to talk, before Ben can say anything, his uncle informs him that he plans to travel to Boston to care for his seriously ill daughter. The old man is uncertain about when he'll be back, so he has called Ben to entrust the care of Ray to him in his absence. Instead of finding a new family for Rooney, the two end up adding another dog. Jake and Ben have a huge argument over Ben's continuous lying in the car. In his exasperation, Jake takes Rooney to the park for playtime, keeping his promise to the dog. Watching Jake and Rooney joyfully engage in play, Ben gains a newfound understanding of his cousin's perspective and continues to search for potential adopters. Upon returning home, as Jake bathes Rooney and Ray, Ben notices a vast place owned by a bakery shop on Jeju Island where all dogs are happily running. Jake hesitates, as Jeju Island is quite far from Seoul, and he worries about Rooney's fear of airplane noise. However, Ben proposes they drive there.
turning it into a trip since Jake's wedding is approaching, and opportunities like this might become scarce. After careful consideration, Jake finally agrees. In the early morning, the two men set off with their two dogs on a journey to Jeju Island in search of a new family for Rooney. On the way, Ben becomes captivated by an Afghan hound and playfully grabs Jake's phone to take a picture of her. Jake cautions him to be careful not to drop the phone, but the next moment, the phone slips due to a road bump. Jake bursts into laughter at the sight, only to realize that it's his own phone. He lets out a scream, quickly retracing his steps to retrieve it. Frustrated and angry, he chases after Ben, but the loud barking of Rooney and Ray diverts their attention. Following the direction of the barking, they stumble upon a taped box. Opening it, they discover four helpless puppies inside. The two men also become helpless as everything is not going their way. They drive to a nearby shelter and encounter hundreds of needy dogs. The shelter owner examines the puppies and confirms that they were recently abandoned. Jake pleads with her to keep the puppies, but she explains that her facility is full and might need to be transferred to another location. Even so, the puppies will still be put down because no people like to adopt a mutt. Hearing the bad news, Jake is heartbroken and returns to Ben with four puppies. Ben is confused about why Jake failed thinking his cousin is not persuasive enough. Ben heads into the pound confidently, only to tear up after listening to the owner's emotional stories about her dog's passing. The woman then gestures towards a pug who has suffered abuse from humans but is still destined to be put down within hours. Ben cradles the pug in his arms, and seeing his tearful face, he decides to do something crazier. He soon returns to the car with the pug hiding under his clothes. Ben promises Jake that he will even kneel to plead with the bakery owner in Jeju to adopt all the dogs. Two brothers keep arguing over the matter, and soon they arrive at an Airbnb house that is dog-friendly. They lay together outside for fresh air at night and recall their past life. Jake encourages Ben to pick up his dream again about reopening the coffee shop because the man is very talented. But Ben stubbornly refuses because he doesn't want to sell out his dream by selling cheap and lousy coffee. The following morning, Jake is awakened by a distressed dog whimpering. He rushes out to find the owner mistreating a dog that refuses to eat. Jake suggests a gentler approach, but his offer is turned down. As the dog is destined for a restaurant, in a spur-of-the-moment decision, Jake buys the dog to rescue it from harm. Initially having only Rooney, the duo ends up adding six more dogs during their journey. To finally arrive on Jeju Island, they board a ship where they meet a young girl who is touring around with his old dying dog. Upon hearing her confession, Jake feels regretful and unsure if he should part with Rooney due to his impending marriage. Upon reaching the bakery shop in Jeju, their last glimmer of hope, Ben inquires about the owner, causing a woman to flee, pursuing her. Ben kneels, persuading her to introduce them to the actual owner. Upon arriving at the bakery, the brothers are astounded by the expansive and picturesque villa they had seen on Instagram. Within the sprawling playground, numerous dogs revel in freedom and happiness, seemingly the perfect haven for Rooney and the other dogs. Jake explains why Rooney should find refuge there. The girl unhesitatingly agrees. Encouraged by her response, Jake and Ben request her to take in the other dogs. The girl once again consents, seemingly detached. Jake introduces Rooney's name to her, yet the girl's response stuns them see she declares that names are unnecessary, as she's simply providing shelter for abandoned creatures who are fated to die eventually. She believes that abandoning one family member to make room for another is not called a real family, leaving Jake deeply affected. As they face this harsh realization, they sit on the beach, and Jake contemplates his misjudgment in leaving Rooney. After hearing Jake's thoughts about delaying the wedding for Rooney, Ben decides to quit his job and fulfill his promise of providing a home for the dogs himself. That night, Ben shares his plan to revive his coffee dream by opening a dog cafe, providing a home for the dogs. The next day, the two brothers return to Ben's uncle's house in Payu, where Rooney and the other dogs will reside. As Rooney mingles with his new companions, Jake silently departs. Heading back to Seoul, the emptiness of Rooney's absence hits him upon reaching home, and he breaks down in tears, realizing the absurdity of abandoning his family. The night is spent tossing and turning, sleep eluding him. Frustrated, he summons the courage to visit his mother's former residence. Despite the rain, he cleans the house and tidies up the overgrown backyard. Finally, Jake texts his girlfriend, who has just disembarked from a plane, urging her to come over. As she arrives, he implores her to keep Rooney, 
pledging to construct a large tent in the backyard to protect her from the allergy. Without hesitation, she agrees, assuring Jake that she recognizes him as a dedicated protector of his family. Her comforting words bring Jake to tears again, and he finds solace in her support while finally confronting his mother's passing. Meanwhile, Ben and the other dogs find joy in each other's company, except for Rooney, who remains melancholic in his owner's absence. Suddenly, Jake enters, presenting Rooney with his cherished childhood toy. Rooney rushes toward him, extending his paws, fully aware that his owner will never abandon him again. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance.